good morning guys good morning everyone thank you all for clicking on this video so in this video dr ebedamina is trying his possible best to explain that thing that is bigger than god because he said that there is something bigger than god which is to say god is not the ultimate of all things that is god is not greater than all things of which me and dude, we know that God is above all. Nothing is above God. But in this video, Dr. Ebe Damina said that there is something that is bigger than God. My people, I never hear that one before. I don't want to make it be saying that my mouth on a go for here. I make one hear I'm directly from the horse's mouth, which is Dr. Ebe Damina, my hand and my leg, no day. Please, like as I've been saying before on my videos, each day I post any of all these videos for you all to watch i mostly tell you people to try your best to know god for yourself because nobody that will teach you more than the holy spirit nobody that will teach you more than what you read by your own self so try to know god for yourself so that it will not be too late for you so thank you all i want to say thank you for watching this video so please don't forget to like comment and, sus and subscribe okay god bless you and i will see you again next time bye there is something more powerful than God. How can an all-powerful God be desiring something? I thought he is all-powerful. He should collect it. There's nothing like heavenly places. And there is something that is more powerful than the word of God. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. What? What? Breaking with chain. That is a deceived audience in their song. How can you be breaking chain over born again believers? Which chain are we breaking? You are in Christ. Where are the chains? Break every chain. Break every chain. What? What? Breaking with chain. How can you be breaking chain over born again believers? Which chain are we breaking? You are in Christ. Where are the chains? That is a deceived audience in their song. They are led astray in their song. So this deception by humans, by wrong teachers, by prophets, has a way of manifesting itself in conduct, in prayer, in praise worship, and in the way you relate with the so-called God that is a figment of your imagination. I'm teaching here. Please, if you're following, shout, I hear you. And then when people tell you that everything natural is determined by spiritual, then at the same time they will tell you that God is in them. God lives in me. So that means both God and me, it is a spiritual that controls us. Am I communicating? If you're getting the point, say I hear you. Yeah? I don't like sound bites. You know, people just catch one cliche and throw. I don't like sound bites. Before you take a statement, you've got to find out how it is valid in doctrine. Don't just carry things that sound nice. You know, I heard of a man of God who was preaching and saying, you know, I am blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Yeah, all my blessings are in heavenly places. Then he says, and you know, the Bible tells us that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against spiritual forces in heavenly places. Then he said, but your blessings and your enemies are in heavenly places. And people said, whoa, what a big revelation. It's not a big revelation. It's nonsense. Because that word places is not in the original so he's building a doctrine out of an addition that was put in the bible by the translator's advantage i don't know if i'm communicating here he didn't see that places is in italics there's nothing like heavenly places heavenly places how many places are the heavenlies okay jesus is seated in the heavenly places that means he has many buttocks his bum bum is in different places in heaven so jesus has more than one bum can't you see that something is wrong with that addition there's nothing like places it is supposed to be in the heavenlies i'm teaching here yeah see that's why the scriptures must be rightly divided there is something more powerful than god and i'm going to show you there's something more powerful than god if there is nothing more powerful than god why will god desire that every man be saved why will he desire it why doesn't he get everybody saved why doesn't he call everybody saved why does he desire how can an all-powerful god be desiring something i thought he is all powerful he should collect it think about that We'll get a bit more into it and there is something that is more powerful than the word of god there is something more powerful than the word of god you have made the word of god of none effect by what so tradition can neutralize the word think about it we'll get into all of that so when you find some people no matter how much they are hearing the word of god in the church nothing is changing in their life know that they have employed something that neutralizes the word as the word is coming they are neutralizing it 
it's not that the word is not powerful the word is powerful that's why some people are getting results and there are some people no result because there's something in their life constantly neutralizing the word the word is coming in full power but they are quenchers praise god i'm teaching here thank you lord look at first john 2 26 these things have i written unto you concerning them that seduce you so there are people who seduce so the first thing that will lead a man astray is people they seduce they lead you astray this deception you will see it in your conduct that's where it begins it will show in your conduct it will show in your prayer it will show in your praise worship you know it will show in your praise worship this deception this deception it will show in your praise worship when a church gathers and they are singing hallelujah angels are singing hallelujah angels how will you be celebrating servants an entire congregation of people celebrating their servants with lifting holy hands that is a deceived audience in their song they are led astray in their song that's just one out of many you know the others break every chain break every chain what what breaking which chain how can you be breaking chain over born again believers which chain are we breaking you are in christ where are the chains so in their song there is plano in their prayer there is plano in their conduct you know they put on a pious look as if by their pious look they are righteous so this deception by humans by wrong teachers by prophets has a way of manifesting itself in conduct in prayer in praise worship and in the way you relate with the so-called god that is a figment of your imagination i'm teaching here please if you're following shout i hear you say so those that seduce you be careful of those that seduce you who teach wrong doctrine who don't teach any doctrine at all you know there are churches that doctrine is not taught the only thing taught there is motivation motivation is not doctrine are you here please wake up if you are you are you with me wake up so that i i can feel you so i can pour more things out are you here there are motivational teaching is not doctrine there's a difference between doctrine and the people who deserve honor in the house of god are not motivational teachers they are those who labor in word and doctrine how to make it is a motivational teaching 10 steps to success is a motivational teaching how to make money is a motivational teaching it's not sound doctrine sound doctrine is building believers in the revelation of christ that's sound doctrine teaching on ancestral causes is not doctrine there's no such doctrine so-called deliverance making christians vomit all the time that's not doctrine that is part of the plan we're dealing with here that's part of the deception is error praise god are you understanding here if you're understanding shout i hear you yeah it's part of it part of plan or part of deception like comedians making caricature of spiritual things and christians are laughing it means that all those christians have been misled somebody is leading them astray makes caricature makes jokes of spiritual things take men of god and dismantle them in the name of comedy taking people that are supposed to be feeding your spirit man and reducing them to objects of clowning and christians are laughing because they have been led astray they have been led astray they have been led astray that is why it doesn't matter to them anymore joke is joke joke is not joke amen ah uh, i can't get enough of this one video at all i just cannot get enough of this dramatical preaching yes there's something he said at the end of this video that really made sense to me that is the only thing that made sense to me in this video about how the comedians are using the word of god to joke how they are joking with the word of god that is the only thing i picked out of this video so this thing he said at the end of this video really made sense the way the comedians are joking with the word of god is not good so if you are a comedian that is joking with the word of god there's a punishment coming to you you have to stop it before god will send you to a fire yes you have to stop it go and joke with a muslim god if they're not going to burn you alive so thank you everyone for watching this video stay blessed and i will see you again next time bye